If we want to display some details in SCAP and we don't have any available reports, here we have multiple options. The first option is to use the SCAP S4HANA Data Browser Transaction, SCA16H, and there we can use the table join function and also create formulas to create a simple query. But if we want to create a query that is more complex, here we have two other options. We can either create a quick viewer query or an info set query. A quick viewer query is a simple option, something that should be accessible and available for SAP end users and also for SAP functional consultants. The quick viewer queries can be created directly in the environment we want. So if we have an end user who wants to display something in production, he can go to the transaction SQVI and create a quick viewer query directly in production and then use it. And this queries in principle can only be used by the user who created them. So if an end user creates a query in production, for example, only this user can see it. But then we can convert this query into a normal query to share it with everyone. This is a very important point because some people think if you have a quick viewer query that's assigned to your user, then no one else will be able to see it. But if we want to share it with the different users in the organization, we can convert it to a normal query and then give authorization to the users we want. The quick viewer queries are very user friendly, simple to create, but they don't have all the functions needed. So we cannot create formulas, for example. The info set queries, on the other hand, are more complex, require more knowledge about SAP. Normally, they are not available to the SAP end users and they can be available to the SAP functional consultants. And when we create an info set query, normally we create it in development and then move it to quality in production. So it is transported like any other configuration object. We don't create it directly in the production environment. So it can take more time to be available to the end user. It has more complex functionalities. We can create formulas in the info set queries and these queries by definition can be used by anyone who has the needed authorization. In the next videos, I will show you how to create a quick viewer query using transaction SQVI, how to create an info set query using SQ01, 02, and 03, and how to convert a quick viewer query into a normal query so we can share it with any user who has the needed authorization. If you want me to explain anything else in this topic, then please leave me a comment. I always read the comments to plan my future videos. And if you are watching this video in any other platform than YouTube, then come and join us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel. This way you can meet the community. And